Metropolis, the always suppressed People say, haters gonna hate I'm just like, bitch I operate We might be crazy, we might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey Hey guys, Tunnel Rat 1 1 here with you. Um, holy bejesus, folks, it is about butt fucking freezing outside. And I tried to do the video and I, I was setting up my equipment and everything, and I'll be damned, I just wasn't having it. No, not till I get my space back where I can at least have a little bit of heat and take my time to be able to uh, do a uh, proper video for you folks. But until then, I have another Spec Ops Global. This is December 2016. And to everyone out there, I don't know if this video is going to be the next day, right before, but it's going to be around New Year's. So Happy New Year's to all of you and your family. Um, I hope for a um, prosperous and safe um, 2017. So um, crazy busy course holidays and all that fun shit so um, let's get right into it so this is December 2016 Mountain Warfare from Spec Ops Global now and I've said this before in other videos and stuff there's some awkward thing I and I don't I don't talk with these guys to the point where you know like I'm giving them ideas or anything there's just certain things that you know I, I get in a box and it's like holy shit that's something I'm working on which is a uh, a day pack okay this is a regular small salt pack um, I bought this this is a mill tech I bought this in Afghanistan in 2011 I believe um, great pack love it I've repaired it a couple times just some tears and rips and stuff but um, I've been working on a video about a, I don't know if you want to call it a day pack or just a um, recon pack, explorer pack, basically something to go out in the woods. That, you know, if I'm going to do videos or um, just wanting to go hump in the woods and see what's, you know, see what's there, something to take with me that's got the, the essentials with it. And um, some of this has just, you know, opened, kind of opened my eyes to, to new things to put with it. So, from there, the JROTC box has two items in it. The first item is the Shimag. Um, Camcon, we've seen these in there before. This is the, I guess you could say, does it say actually on there? It's like the Desert Tan version. Oh, Coyote Tan. Sorry. Coyote. Holy Christ on a cracker. But... Um, a very good size. I mean, this thing's freaking huge, and I'm actually going to open it now because I've been waiting to do this video to put this shit in my pack, but I'm going to open this up because these are very large um, schmags. So, oh, shit. Get a motherfucker. Get caught on a goddamn staple. Who would have figured? Um, these things are a very, very good size um, for cover concealment for anything I mean just in general I mean they're they're huge um, you know for being able to cover and conceal your head if something uh, was gone with that you had to um, conceal your body or just stay out of the uh, stay out of the Sun whatever you got to do I mean this thing is is just Incredible! It's huge. It's lightweight. It's perfect to put in a pack. Um, and the Coyote Tan, sorry, um, it uh, it's perfect. So that's your first item. Second item is the belt. Actually, sorry, the Schmag is from Pakistan. The second item is a belt. It's from Israel. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've seen these guys through a couple things. Um, this is a very, very lightweight um, belt. 
Um, <laughs> Agilite, Agilite. Um, see if you can get that. Yeah, there we go. Um, and it's a, it's just a very lightweight belt, and I believe it said something on there about um, the zero gravity belt is designed to, designed and manufactured by Aglite. Aglite is the Israel leading tactical rescue and outdoor gear manufacturer. Aglite was founded, blah, blah, blah. Um, Israel Space, Special Forces and U.S. Army veterans designed recon troops wanting a lighter weight, more comfortable alternative to standard IDF uniform belts. Okay, so basically this is just a better option. Um, it, it's it's got a um, I don't know ABS or nylon reinforced buckle, um, but I mean it, it's you know just pretty much a standard Velcro um, Velcro belt. It's got the um, double restraint. I mean you can because most of the time when I use my duty belt because I've got the same style. I've got a Black Hawk that I use for my duty gear and stuff. And most of the time I just put it over the first loop and Velcro it down. Um, if you want to secure that better, if like for my CQB, I've got an actual hook that if I was going to you know, try and retain myself from falling off a gosh blessed roof or something like that, um, you know, it's got that, that feature to double buckle it to, um, to basically to be more secure um, to your body. So it has that feature. So that's really cool. It's 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 super lightweight. I mean, it's it's um, it's tough. I mean, don't get me wrong there, but it's um, it is lightweight. It's it's not a very heavy. Let me see if we can see. I mean, it's just a heavy duty. Um, it's almost it, it, basically if you look at it, it's kind of like a. Um, Pals webbing um, material, but it's in, you know, a two inch tactical belt. So those are the two items to with the JROTC. Uh, next, um, next option is a new recruit. And the first one in the new recruit is the Booney hat from Russia. This thing is, is fucking smoking hot. I love this thing. Um, anyone out there that's, um, um, especially been in the, um, I guess, cover concealment, uh, sniper school, stuff like that. Um, it's got, it's the a ATAC, I think is the new, you know, fancy term. I like the multicam, but when I was getting out there, starting to talk about the ATAC pattern. I think that's what it is. But pretty much it's the ATAC pattern. Um, it's kind of a lighter version. It's got more speckles in the... Um, the pattern but on top it's got a webbing across and through to be able to put foliage items to conceal you better on top of it's got the um, <laughs> I used to call it the ammo ring but basically it, it's got um, you know like I guess you could say half inch um, half inch uh, slits through the whole thing um, to be able to put cover and concealment in. Um, it's also got some uh, some little slits through the side to be able to put concealment in through and stuff like that. Um, it's also got two elastic bands. One's just for the the uh, the neck just if you're you know want to keep it on your head but it's also got one on the top to tighten this top portion up and most of the time I don't put that chin strap on because you know who wants to go that route um, but I kind of go the uh, the Aussie route and put them up to the sides which is nice um, but it, it it it's probably probably the best honest to God it's the best boot yet I've ever seen um, it's broken and it's you know with all those options on it, it, it seems like something that I would feel very comfortable with uh, putting on and um, being able to put foliage or whatever um, items around and be able to conceal myself. So 
Uh, great, great booty cap. The second item in new is second. Yeah, second item in new recruit is the body veil. We've seen these a lot through them. Same thing that uh, the CamCon. Uh, I think we got an Odie Green. I don't think it was a CamCon one in the last box, the uh, Arctic Survival. Um, but this is the, let me make sure. Oh, Desert Tan. Okay, this one's Desert Tan, see? Um, I knew I was in somewhat, uh, somewhat correct there. Um, but it's a 45 inch by 72 inch. Um, I mean, it, it packs down to nothing. But, um, you know, I mean, it, it's it's a good coverage. These things are great in general for um, just cover and concealment, just to put them on. But you can also use the, um, the ribs inside of it to put more um, foliage and items to, uh, to help you conceal more. <coughs> Let's set that up. There we go. I mean, it's lightweight. I mean, you know, it, it, may, it may take up a, a few inches of your... Um, of your bag, but it's lightweight. It's, you're not going to feel that you're putting it in. Holy but Jesus! There we go. And that's I'm I'm five nine, five nine, five ten somewhere on a good day. I'm five ten, um, and I'm holding that up above my head, and that's touching the ground. So um, you really could use this because it, it, it says body veil. Um, but either way, I mean, it's good, a good option for, especially too, when you put these on and you, if you're really hot, um, you, you take your, your water bottle or go to a, you know, a, you know, stream or something like that, put it in the water. Um, and then you kind of, you kind of wrap it around your head and your neck or whatever. Those holes are going to create that evaporation which is going to make you cooler you know basically kind of like an air conditioning system um, so these things are great in general for concealment and um, that cooling option so those are the last two with new recruit let's go to season non-com um, these are knee pads these are from the US and um, I have a pair of these actually um, I yanked them um, when I was overseas I got a pair and um, not a big knee pad guy not gonna lie um, these things are knee pads in general are great um, if you're um, if you know you're going to the range that day or whatever and you're gonna be doing a lot, a lot of kneeling my knees are shot after almost 10 years in the military my my knees are, are done um, so I probably should have been wearing these a long time ago but um, <laughs> I digress so each one, um, the top band is elastic. It's gonna strap around your thigh. This bottom one is a stiff, straight um, nylon strap that's gonna strap around your sh uh, your shin, um, your calf, whatever. Um, and most of the time, and, and that's when I went to certain um, training or something that it required knee pads, most of the time these things would get pushed down to my ankles and um, <laughs> went on the wayside but that's probably why my knees are jacked to shit but these are good knee pads are they're, they're great good padding um, for especially going to the range and um, if you can bear them when you're out in the you know in a situation you know out in you know combat whatever um, if, if you want to deal with them that you know they're great but I just wasn't a knee pad guy but these are very good products because I, I do have a pair and especially for training and stuff I've used with that um, that hard kneecap ending and stuff. Like I said, if I'd have used them more, I probably wouldn't have as much uh, jacked up knees as I do now. Okay, second item in season non-com is the ammo pouch, which is Israel USA. There we go. So this is kind of a unique pouch. I need to see, okay. It's got your two flappy molly straps. Not stiff by any means, but um, it does its justice. Um, so when you when you place it on your vest, do what you got to do. You know, put it through your molly, lift up, and this should be enough for two. Let me. Um, of course, I don't have my freaking vest now that's sitting in there. Um, but it's good enough to fit two um, two mags in. Now, when you put two mags in there, 
There's also a button on top. So even when it's closed and secured with two mags in, there's a little um, clip here. It goes down and it goes into two almost identification um, pouches. Um, cool idea. I don't know how um, how effective that is, in my opinion. I mean, I mean, there were times where I had to show my escort card and stuff when I was overseas and that. But um, you know, for the most part, I I don't know if I'd throw my CAC in there and be you know satisfied. But um, besides that, you know, putting two you know M4 mags in or um, AK mags, but also on the side you've got a D-ring, um, probably just for retention. And actually, this is that same company that made the uh, made the belt, that Agile, Agile. Um, and it says, this one says USA, Israel, the other one just said Israel, but um, I think there's some kind of combination there. Um, but on the right side, there's a Velcro pouch, um, pretty heavy, um, heavy pouch. It's not really a mag pouch. You can use it as a mag pouch, but it's probably for a heavier item. Uh, no opening. So it's probably for, uh, you know, bigger item. This side, this would probably be, um, yeah, I don't know if you'd fit mag pouch in there. There's two elastic bands on the outside and then inside here. It's just, uh, just big enough to probably fit my, my pointer finger in there. And I mean, I'm, fat handed so um, I don't know if you'd fit a pistol mag in the back pouch at least you could probably put them in the elastic um, but probably more for a flashlight knife um, and maybe a mag you know a, a, a pistol mag on this side um, but I mean it, overall I mean it's a good good item to have especially you know if you're trying to be a minimalist with your um, with your body armor or something like that and you don't want too much you know two magazines one pistol mag um, you know, flashlight and a folder or something like that, and then you know you can put your identification in there, or you know whatever. If not, you can just keep it closed up with the buckle, you know, tighten it down, and it's just a mag pouch. So, so that's pretty cool. I like that. And last but not least, and this is one of the the things that I was really um, really happy to see. It's a one liter hydration pouch. Um, it's got the bite valve. It's an advanced hydration technology source, heavy duty, taste free. Um, it's called the Kangaroo. Um, one liter, uh, Kodora fabric. What is that? What? No, that's also Israel. Uh, but basically, it's got the Velcro um, closing. It's got your hydration bladder in it, which, let me move this out of the way it does come with a actually and this is what one of my favorite things it's an insulated um, drinking cable because let me tell you after being out in the heat for uh, a bit of time and you're freaking you know burning up and you take that first sip of water you kind of have to I used to just take it and it'd be either blow water in it and just blow it out or whatever but um, yeah that freaking first bit of water sucks um, and it's also got on the hydration bladder, it's the um, the clip on it, so you can open it up and actually get into the whole um, bag, which is nice for cleaning and stuff. Because those old Camelbacks that we used to get that just had the little uh, you know two three inch hole, you couldn't get in there, so they just had to sell those kits where you're you know um, scrubbing them out and stuff like that. So these are nice. I really I really enjoy these. Um, these new style of, uh, I guess I'll be that guy and say camelback or, you know, just hydration bladder. Um, I really think that's a cool idea. Um, there's also a, I mean, you could put some items in here. Um, probably what I'm going to do, because this was the whole, when I saw this, it was like, man, this is kind of a good idea. I thought, well, I'm going to put this on the outside of my pack for an extra one liter of water. If I don't need it, then guess what? It's not... Not that, uh, not that heavy, and I don't know if it even says the weight of it um, without water. Probably not. And I'm going to sit here and look at it anyways. Um, but it's not that heavy um, without water in it. But if you do need water, because in that uh, pouch or in that bag I carry with me, 
Um, I do carry a stainless steel um, container to be able to boil water, to be able to put water into this, to be able to drink later. Um, it's nice that you don't have to pull your whole, you know, your whole bottle out or anything like that. You can just sip as you go. A quick disconnect for your uh, your bite valve, which actually appears to be a very nice bite valve. Um, I have not tried one of these. I've been through quite a few bike valves in my time and that appears to be quite a nice valve. Um, I, like I said, one of my biggest things is I'm, I'm happy with the, um, I don't know if it's insulated, but it's a covered um, water line that does help. Um, you know, you get those clear, um, just standard lines and, and that freaking heat hits it and it, you know, you're kind of after in the A, but you got your molly on the back. Um, so what my thought is behind this is I'm going to put this on the pack and then from there I'm just going to put a, you know, a Sawyer mini filter in here, maybe some water purification tabs or something like that. It, it may bulk it out a little bit, but just to have it as an emergency if I can't boil the water or whatever. So it does have that um, option to be able to put a little bit in there, um, nothing crazy, but I don't need to carry a, you know, a huge two liter camel back with me. This is all I would need, especially if I'm carrying a, you know, a stainless steel um, water container with me. So I was really excited about this. So that's Israel. Um, and that is it for Spec Ops Global of December 2016. Um, so yet again, let me make sure, double check. That's straightening up. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So um, yet again, um, Happy New Year's. I hope uh, everything is fruitful for you folks out there, and I will see you in 2017. Have a good night.